Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the unfair difficulty. We've become the Lord Captain, finally. And uh, with that we need to start our journey. I think this was kind of the prologue and we're now getting into the right game. Abelard approached us and said, Your Lordship. Hmm. And now they stopped uh, voicing it. What is happening here? You had us worried for a few hours, but after witnessing you fearlessly rush into the fray on the deck, it only surprised me how long you stayed on your feet. Strength only left you once the fight was over. Such fortitude is most admirable in a Lord Captain. You must now hold up your first officer's briefing in the new role as Lord Captain. We sustained massive losses amongst the senior and middle ranking officers. Um, some posts had to be filled by the deputy, deputy's deputy, whilst others go unfilled entirely. And now the deck uh, clan, uh, clans are deciding who will overtake uh, the leaderless crew. Um, all right, let's start. With a gesture, uh, Abelard relays the orders to the abjurant far at the end of the chamber. Oh, we got a tech priest here. Cool. Dozen pairs of eyes uh, bore into you, expressions revealing restraint, joy, curiosity, and weariness. Attention, officers! You've been granted the honor, Lord Captain Saiken from Valerius will personally conduct today's briefing. One of our most gracious Lord Captain is ready to hear your reports. Um, good, let's introduce those present as you wish, Your Lordship. Vigisuri Otter of the Toleman line is our Vox Master, so I think uh, this is this guy here, communication head. Yep, indeed. Highly uh, modified with a lot of technical modifications. So honest serve you. For the vessel, you have my command of thousands of crew members and hundreds of officers. Uh, I'm your eyes and mouth, Lord Captain. Besides her uh, is a Rever, the Master Hells, uh, Helmsman. Okay, he was the guy uh, who to steer us out. He steers the ship as long as the course is set by the Lord Captain and monitors uh, the void around us to ensure that we do not uh, stray into an asteroid field. Good, he was also heavily modified. And lastly, High Factotum Janice Danrock, who oversees uh, supplies, procurement and general material of the ship. Uh, he looks a bit like a douche, uh, but we're going to find out if that is true. It's not your lordship. Uh, you may trust me in all matters concerning your comfort. I can tell you that my trust to you is very much limited. In the second row we have three officers charged with overseeing the ship's vital functions. Master of Ordnance is responsible for the artillery. Inferno's master is preventing and extinguishing fire. And lastly, Dive's master serves uh, servant of the Omnisire, supernatural entity, god of knowledge. So that's potentially him. Three officers salute you. Uh, Inferno's master does so with confidence while the master of ordinance uh, betrays nervousness. The dive's master of a salute a resemblance um, involving complicated manipulation of all tech priests' uh, uh, tendrils. Greetings to you all. Um, let's see. So, uh, first report. Le yes, Lord Captain, report that all fires on dog deck have now been extinguished. Cool. Very good. Thank you. Hi, Factotum. Um, we are to uh, toiling day and night to compile full accounts of the losses personally ensure that the damaged components are given to the tech priest's hand for attention. There's only one rescue that I cannot replenish single-handedly, and that is people. We have lost more than 2,000 crew members, and unfortunately this number is not confined to the scrum for the lower decks, which is easily replaced, but also that includes trained professionals. We will be able to make up the losses on the nearest planet, Redock uh, Minoris. However, the planet and the whole system, in fact, belongs to the winter-scale rogue trader dynasty. We cannot simply begin recruiting 
um, the planet without first coming to an understanding with the governor that respect I'm powerless negotiations um, are a matter of the rogue trader especially true given that the winter scales penance for attacking first and asking questions later it's a kind of thick skulled thugs that usually install uh, them uh, that they install as governors dives master uh, aka the tech priest says lord captain um, noble void ship destroyed hundreds of machine spirits great warp engine entrusted into uh, my charge unharmed uh, the spirit mourns and uh, dead brethren. We have uh, not yet identified prayer protocol capable of um, eschugating its sorrow and anger. Okay. Uh, with great sorrow, I must also report that the NGC are prime overseer and spiritual authority of all text priests on uh, board fell in battle. Magos was betrayed by a little flesh that remained part of him. Most terrible loss. There is no one amongst my comrades aboard uh, whose experience and comprehension of the sacred protocols equals those of the fallen Magos. We require placement as soon as possible. Okay. And then status report from the helmsman. Uh, the outbreak is bleak. Ships sound more or less without the Angesir Prime and the Navigator who fell in battle. We have no way out of the system. We try to set uh, so much as a toe inside of warp. I don't know what will happen first. Warp drive being torn into pieces or we, uh, we melting our heads. Uh, then the communication uh, Voxmaster Victus intervenes. If you will allow me when we arrived in the system, crew followed standard protocol and conducted a count of all of the available communication channels. One of them was the Nevis Nobili station. Uh, the station maintains a, a complete Vox silence, but even its presence here inspires hope. We have located the navigation very same system um, as an incredible stroke of luck. Good. Hamson says, if I were you, I'd grab the chance with both hands. Um, I'm slightly as uh, shitty news we can go around and round in the system till we had uh, have our heads swimming as long as the Prothemian uh, supplies last and for the sick as Grok's low lives uh, come sniffing around we'll be able to take them out so don't worry and finally master of ordinance do you have anything to report nope my job is simple maintain the arsenal of fire uh, but just ask anyone We've got no able crew, no Lord Captain. So what, uh, says Ashar? The ship's in ruins, every second officer is dead, and now we've got an, a green Lord Captain who's supposed to lead us uh, to void knows where. Silence, says Abadard. <laughs> Enforcer sees this mut uh, mutineer. Yeah, that could be mutiny. That indeed is uh, is true. If only one officer out of the whole lot has fallen to pieces, then that's not bad at all. Your lordship, I humbly apologize. Um, what do you want to do us with the Master of Ordinance, the former Master of Ordinance, I should say, besides first replacement, that is, for what we've already won lined up? Uh, we're being dogmatic. Execute him. Mutiny is mutiny. To summarize, we've sustained serious losses in crew members and we require new NGC or Prime and the Navigators that all us preventing us from continuing the voyage. Precisely. But bear in mind that this will be not the end of our trials. The ship's system must be properly inspected, um, which can only be carried out at the footfall station. Um... All right, thank you. You're dismissed. Your Lordship, there's a one other thing, a confidential matter of the utmost importance, Leo Theodora. Your eternally esteemed predecessor uh, brought the ship here into the system for a reason. She was given a secret uh, commission. You perhaps are wondering uh, who the authority to uh, commission a rogue trader to do anything. I shall tell you the Lord Inquisitor 
the hand of the emperor, the chief architect of um, his will in Coranus' expanse. Good. I would be honored to fulfill the Inquisition's commission. Uh, what is it he asked of Theodora? Lady Theodora was um, to seek out Lord Inquisitor's right uh, hand men, uh, one by the name of Heinrichs von Karlock. An interrogator, you understand, all I know is that he is somewhere in the system and that we must find him and offer him whatever assistance he requires uh, and then deliver him uh, to footfall in the Fubius uh, system. Finding him uh, without any more information uh, to go on will be difficult, but an inquisitor uh, is an important individual. The authorities in the system, either uh, the novice nobility or the governor of uh, Rikard Minoris may know something. That is all, your lordship. You have a great deal of work ahead of you. Soon you must take the reins of the uh, Valencian dynasty. Iridia, Sister Argentia, explain yourself. Argentia says, The Psykers is suffering some ailment or dark madness. She insists on seeing the rogue trader. I judged her that it would be unwise to leave her unsupervised. All right, Argenda, I was also hoping uh, to approach you with a personal request, but you can wait. Speak with me when you have time. All right, um, Iridium, come to your senses, and she's like, damn it, your lordship, here's the thing, I was trying uh, to see the immediate future, and it hit me so hard, my head is still spinning, something very strange uh, is heading our way, I can't make out what it is, no matter how hard I try a single word, and I can make out daybreak, or maybe dawn, okay. We cannot extract any information or value from a single word. Can you tell us anything? No, not anything. As soon as I know, I'll report it right away. Lord Captain, if you want me to take a closer look into your future, you find me on the bridge and we can talk. Okay. Fair enough. I will need to take a closer look at my daughter, uh, who is currently having a tantrum. All right, Sue. Saiken is back and we're going to um, accept that the prologue is done by the right of blood. Rogue trader desires to personally meet with the person recently brought abroad her flagship. Okay. Uh, that. Can I just say fine? So. Fair enough. Good. So. Argenta asked the road trader to talk with her, so there's a companion quest here. I like that. And we need an NG seer as well as a navigator. Cool. Can't be that difficult, can it? Good. Uh, take place in vast regions of space. The guide, Regus Mortis, uh, there we need to go in order to do the new pl blood and so on. Unidentified void ship, mm -hmm. okay. Regus Majoris, scan is required. And the guide is there as well. Okay, cool. Oh, 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 oh I see. Now, we don't want to steer anywhere at the moment. We got good hull integrity. Listen, I just went back onto the bridge. Cargo manager. Oh, that's interesting. So what do we have for cargo? Uh, ship components, miscellaneous. We got a blade chart. We got a handwritten letter signed by XC. Okay, whoever that is. And we got a lot of stuff, but is there... 
Is there a... Is uh, there a merchant of sorts? Because I'm sure we have some sort of money and we might be able to buy something. I definitely want to hear what our sister of battle has to say. Maybe she does have a companion quest. And if I'm co recollecting correctly, we wanted to repair our ship. So where is the sister of battle? Good Lord Saiken is running around his own ship, semi-confused, uh, to the captain's quarters. Well, that's not where we need to go. Master Helmsman. There we go. Argenta. Rogue trader. You said you had a personal request. I indeed have a request, Rogue trader. The accursed servants of Chaos, who assaulted this ship, took the lives of uh, local crew, uh, loyal crew members, and they orphaned many children, including the a prodigy of a brave officer who defended their post until the bitter end. I don't know the customary, um, customary practices there, for the cases are like it in the Valencius territory, but uh, in the world I am familiar with, children of such brave souls be expected to retrieve special consideration perhaps uh, the rogue trader could meet with the orphans mm -hmm. I like that I will meet with them no formality needed these children of the people who give their lives for the Valencius dynasty my consideration is the least what they deserve Okay. I will pass on your instructions. Okay. Cool. Let's have a bit of a chit chat with the children. Two thousand people died. That is unfortunate. The motley group of adolescents uh, uh, do not take their eyes off of you, gazing as if you were a creature straight from a fairy tale. Uh, Abelard says, Our indefatigable sister has been keeping an eye on these pups. It is hardly uh, the scholar Progenium, which is a division of the Ecclesium responsible for the upbringing and education in here. But we have provided the orphans on our ship with an adequate care of instructions. All right, Argena says, brave ones, the master of this ship appeared before you. He will guide you through the darkness of the universe. The emperor will greet you, Lord Captain, the rogue trader of the House of Valencius. Grandly address the group, smile at the group. Um, okay, we're grandly addressing them. The teenagers hang on every word with abated breath. Only a few and far end of the row seem to sullen, not particularly impressed by your speech. So what? Uh, says an orphan. Why should we care? Our friends and parents died in their dozens for you noble lot. And you just give us speeches. Argenta quickly turns to the boy. A flurry of emotions flashes in her uh, dark eyes. I like she wants to both calm him and scold him from uh, his uh, impudence. Um. Well, if you have things to say, say it without fear, I will listen. Boy smiles grimly. It doesn't matter what we say, I won't bring our parents back and won't change the fates. Uh, we'll keep slaving away on the ship until we drop or die like our folks or worse. Um. I understand your grief and dismay. Can I do something a little bit more? But they gave their lives for the truth, for the good of the whole ship, for the Empyrean. Uh, 
It is hard to say whether or not your words have left an impression on the boy, but he nods slowly and catches himself and gives you an awkward bow. Abelaz gives a sign. And we wrap it up. Okay, no clue if that was good or bad, but maybe the boy grows up to be a proper servant. Jenna rubs her uh, temple up and pens her lively. She smiles and offers a few more words of encouragement, then leaves the bay. And that is what we shall do as well. Interesting that you do have kind of that little gimmick in here. I wonder if that will have an impact later in the game. All right, back onto the ship. Let's check our journal. New blood. Crew lost uh, cultist traits. We need that. We need a new energy seer, and we need a guide, a navigator. Navis Nobili Station in Uruk 5. I think that's where we're starting. I think that's where we're starting. Let's go, boys. Okay, Uruk 5. Lord Captain, the Herald of the Navis Nobilities continues to maintain walk silence, perhaps due to Uruk 5 being off limits to visitors. We intercepted signals from the beacons drifting in the station's orbit. Their demands are clear. We are told to turn the ship around immediately. Um, we should. Uh, we've also detected accumulation of space debris near the space dock, uh, station. Presumably, it's remain of interplanetary shuttles. Perhaps the esteemed Navis Mobility's house requires aid and therefore cannot respond to our Vox transmission. Good. Contact the station again. Station does not reply. Okay, let's scan the station. The officers from the augury crew performed a full scan of the sca station, but the information is imprecise. Precise. They note that a wave of distortions of unclear genesis are throwing off most of the readings. We were able to ascertain, uh, ascertain that the reactor core of the station is still active, but many compartments are unpowered and some are fully depressurized. The signs of biological activity are largely present in the center module, which means the station has not been abandoned. So the question remains why the esteemed navigator heralds is ignoring us. Order the crew to commence docking with the station. Affirmative, Lord Captain, we do not know what is happening at the station. So we will have to uh, look uh, at this esteemed navigator's blind dock safely and may the god emperor uh, light our path. Okay, that's interesting and troublesome at the same time. Uruk 5 might be in trouble, guys. And we might be coming in hot and heavy as always. Worm. You dare to argue with your master? It was not you whom I swore to serve within these walls. My lips are sealed. Confess! What was the old man's last command? What are you planning? Give up, Keeper. You have lost this battle. Again. <laughs> We're getting nowhere with these ones, sir. Permission to execute them. Secrets of Navis Nobilis. Explore the station. That's not us, right? Press will not help you, servant uh, shall be damned. In the name of the horse or sail you, I command you to execute these infidels. Okay.
no step further, Master. We're going to have some strange guests on the station. Felix Orcello, step back or I will unleash all the horrors of the Sea of Souls upon you. Um, Emperor, be my witness. <laughs> Keep talking to me this way, and you uh, and I'll make you swallow your own tongue. That's funny. You know what? I'll say that. You still dare to insult me, ah? But uh, I do recognize the coat of arms. You are from the Valencia's dynasty. This uh, explains a lot more than you think. And since fate has brought you to uh, such an important pa person. Allow me to introduce myself. Before you, uh, you stands Ferrek Christoph August, keeper of the station. So you did not come to offer support uh, to the traitors. This is great news. Having said that, you must understand that Uruk 5 is a holy sanctum for the house Orselio, and the path um, to it is only revealed to a select few. It pains me to say you are not on the guest list. I came here in search of a navigator. Provide me with a navigator and I will immediately depart the station. I do not think it is possible. Uruk 5 uh, is an observation station. We do not sign contracts, do uh, nor do we provide navigators. We delve into the depth of the uh, infinity and chart the movements of the warp storms. And besides, you have chosen an inappropriate time for negotiations. Uh, okay. I'm looking for Lord Inquisitor's interrogator. One Heinrichs von Kallax. Do you know anything about his present location? Okay. I came here in search of a navigator. Uh, so you're coming with me. Is that so? I do not think so. You cannot force me. Uh, you can only end my life. Uh, but uh, this is not your heart's desire, isn't it? Perhaps, perhaps not. We have one another and reach a more beneficial agreement. What agreement are you talking about? You came to this station for a reason. House Orselio will not be able to help you until the current crisis is resolved. Uh, but if you aid us now, I promise we will reach an agreement that you will find satisfying, be it riches, influence, or the powers of a navigator. Okay, what happened on the sta uh, station? Betrayal, a most banal thing in the life of uh, nobility, uh, don't you think? I was stabbed in the back by my closest friend Theobald Orselio. Uh, the second keeper of Oysak 5 and my mentor. On his instructions, my own people sabotaged the generators, uh, blew up the shutters and brutally massacred the loyal servants of my mistress. Most unforgivably, they dared to take prisoners. Greedy scum, I swear by the throne's light, their souls will perish in the darkness of the void. I don't believe him a word. It seems like he is uh, the bad guy, but okay. The madmen have captured Lady Cassia and are now torturing her upstairs. Okay, um... What kind of help are you talking about? I would have never asked uh, under different circumstances, but yet Lady Cassia's well-being is above all. I've got many people left and the wounds are too deep for us to act. Um, all right. In order to ascend to the mistress chambers, you will need to remake a holy relic, a relic uh, sanctified with the blood of uh, Lady Ordelsia herself. This is in the control room in the elevator machine spirit. I have one part and the other one was lost during the mutiny. But even this relic will not be uh, or will be of no use unless the elevator is powered. How do I remake the control room? I have a phylactracy containing the mistress blood. Uh, it needs to be taken to the laboratory. Okay. The most ancient and sacred mechanism will rebuild the rod. The tech priest ceaselessly performed the rites of appeasement so that the machine uh, spirit would serve the house in the time of the need. The faithful hour is now upon us. All right, so how am I supposed to uh, get the elevator working again? Uh, just enter the correct command sequence and the sacred mechanism will do the rest. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I will rescue your mistress, but in return I require that Orsa sell you a sign a contract. Um. Uh, 
uh, with my protectate. So be it, hurry, the mistress, safety is all that matters, and we receive the phylactery of blood. I tread a path unexplored. White, white. The corpses were. Pure color. Um, and it's all riddled with horrible veins that carry the poison of fear and pain throughout its body. The twisted pain oh, hands are fused with uh, something, something. Why okay. Are you crying? If the witch is talking about the enemies of humanity who set upon this abode of noble navigators, then our Ooh, weapons okay, cool. will soon dispel their wicked misery. Would you look at that? Duty prevails. Nice, we can disarm traps. Never doubt me. Uh, that looks a bit like Let's we're fighting against enemies. Stand firm, we must not let uh, the uh, miscredents defile horse, uh, house, or sell you. Uh, okay. Fired will for house or sell you. Well, great. The absurdity of your struggle amuses me. Stand your ground. Okay, so we're positioning ourselves here and here. Psychers are here. And here. Start the battle. Abelard moves in. Nicely hits two of them. Kills one right away. Interesting. Then proceeds with charging even further. Victory is imminent. Someone else can do this. All right, uh, and I think we're okay. My lead. Uh, the for the glory of the Imperium. Laughable. Why is Saiken getting shot? The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Uh, how about we're hitting all of this? As the Emperor commands, I ask. Let's see. Strike is a prayer. Faith Good hit. Deeds is worthless. And I think we can't I get the squad not. commander. 42, 24. Wow, we do have a long reach, but hmm. I'll All right, it. let's continue. Take normal shots. All right, doesn't work. Doubt is for the weak. But we're pushing the momentum a little bit further forward. By the way, we've used all of our med kits. Something is really not right. We. We should be um, re uh, stocking on consumables. On it. Good. What? Enemy Medikai. Oh. Some serious damage right there. Anything else? And we're prepping the squad commander. All right, end of turn. Ah, the medica is almost down. 
duty go hand in hand. Ravage and conquer. I reject the very idea. Hmm, okay, can't really hit him. Can we shoot him? Yeah, I think Saiken currently is just better One off with step closer. Death shall reign. Single target shooting these guys. I will triumph. I won't waste my time on that. All right, still not a great chance. We could theoretically do something along the lines of this. Yeah, I think that's the best we could do. Accept my Couple of offering. hits. Nice. Okay. Second is doing relatively speaking well. Weapon at the ready. Follow my lead. I've suffered worse. My faith strengthens me. Okay. Death to the heretics. Stay vigilant. Break their morale. Uh, how about we're My moving all the way up to here? Then striking him. Guard dies. And then we're running into that next guard with a charge before enduring whatever the enemy is doing. Hmm. To be fair. I think we're just seeing a uh, shot trying to hit this guy. Yep, good damage. And we're done. Okay, that's good. I know what is to come. Iridia moves up. There's a nice little kill. Giving ourselves dodge. But of course. And we're making sure that that squad commander is easier uh, to be hit. Eleven, nah. I think that is okay. Ruin beckons. Shooting, and they are back to back, so I we're actually doing very out. well. Reloading. Weather the storm. Ah! Follow my lead. Brace yourself, well, an Worse. Follow my lead. Yeah, we're doing uh, well. The only problem that I'm seeing is we're not having enough med kits, so I don't like that at all. Moving in. At your back and call. Hit with a strike. It will be done. Guided by faith. Faith without deed eradicated. Fabulous. That'll give us. I'll do it. A free reload. God free Emperor, free movement move points as well. Be the fire in my heart. As the Emperor commands, I act. Cleansing wind, uh, winded. And can we hit uh, this guy? 
Well, that's not great, it. but a little bit. All right, moving up. I'm not so sure. That is not my destiny. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. Purpose guides me. Very One low hit chances, closer. but he's super far away. That's the problem. This. Purpose guides me. Equally, uh, he is not hitting Try us and either. The tactics are the best ones. At your beck and call. It will be done. Moves to here. And give me that hit. Come on. Very good. That is not the Emperor's will. Doubt is for the weak. I like her bolter. It really sounds nice. Like a true bolter would. The sound effects are generally very good in this game. Whoa. 24 points of damage. Behave. Oh, we got a lot of armor and a couple of laser guns. I like what I'm seeing. Ruinous favor prevails. And data encryptor, okay. Will bow. Listen, my main problem is healing. And I wish we had some sort of healing goods beforehand we're definitely having a lot of tradable material but we're running low on the healing front so let's just double check if i'm missing something no 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 and we got like what phylactery of blood then a scrappy four to six damage pistol which might be something that iridia is not even considering Flag chest plate, medium armor. Well, with that she has a higher dodge rating. Armor 20% isn't great either. Yeah, that's the type of armor that we're wearing. Good to know. And we have a whale maintained laser gun. They just do have normal laser guns. And that's a bit of the problem. What else do we have? Central's trusted carapace is better. Like, all of our equipment is better. Hmm. Unfortunate. Medikai. Triumphant as always. I tread a path unexplored. Um. The world trembles beneath my feet. Good. Lots of stuff here. Left and right. I think it's a bit of a interesting game development decision that you do have a mass Embrace fight against the demon and then you're not even having the time to heal up right anyways we're out of time for today's episode i think that was a very good start for uh, the boarding here there is more to come for sure. As you can see, we have a bit of guard defenders here. I'll just gather the loot as uh, we go. 
and uh, then we're going to Let's take uh, the rest of the station the next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, truly appreciate your viewership. If uh, you like Rogue Trader, leave me a comment down below and don't forget to cleanse that like button after all of that heresy filth that we have encountered. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye-bye.